let us look at one other program <coughs> in this program we are supposed to create a student database and uh, the database uh, has a few fields in a table that is the student number student name class and uh, marks into subject and we are supposed to input the information from the keyboard display the information of a specific student as well as delete the information of a specific student so let's try to create um, a new project so i'm going to go to the netbeans and i'm going to create a new java application click next and you can give uh, any name and uh, student uh, db info anything you can uh, give so i create uh, something some one project so this is my project student uh, not this one so let's go and let's try to figure out so this is also not the project so you are uh, my project it happens to be student uh, you go to the s uh, student db info okay though, so that this is my project okay so this is the project that i have i'm working with so what are the things that we are supposed to do is we are supposed to create a, a database so let me go to the uh, database if uh, if a uh, service uh, is been stopped whenever you start your uh, project so right click and uh, start the server if the server is already running <clears throat> keep it running otherwise you just start the server so once the server has started so again you have to go to the window and then go to the services in order to get uh, this option so go to the window and uh, services and you get this one start the server if it is not already started then right click on the server and then say create a database give it a name i'm going to say student uh, students db and uh, give a username abc password abc confirm password abc that's all and i'm going to just uh, click okay to create the database of uh, derby so once the database is uh, created so once the database is created so i created a student db database so on this one right click and then say connect so you notice that it is connected if you click on the plus sign here you notice that there is a abc if you click on plus sign there are tables but if you click on plus on the table no tables exist so i'm going to create a new table right click on it and then say create a table give it a name i'm going to say std master you can give any name for that so i'm going to give std master as the name and what are the information that uh, we really require we require student number student name class and marks in a few subject so let's go ahead and let's uh, do that thing so i'm going to go and add a new column the first column i'm going to add is student uh, number uh, which i'm going to take it as uh, integer okay then i'm going to create uh, a student name so that is a uh, yes name and i'm going to call uh, uh, take this as var char maybe 50 characters click okay to add it then we are supposed to create uh, uh, in the program the word that they have given is class so if you notice that uh, the word that they have given is class but i will not take class because class will uh, create a confusion to you so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to say this is course okay so just to avoid uh, getting confused so the rest part is one and the same i'm going to go and uh, not blob i'm going to create a var char and uh, maybe if, uh, class 15 i'm going to take click okay then we are supposed to uh, create uh, marks in uh, two subjects so let's say marks 1 m1 marks in first subject so i will take it as an integer if you want you can take double but uh, i'll take it as integer because uh, marks are whole numbers so again uh, m2 i'll take it as a integer click ok and that's what uh, i have created i have the entire uh, table being created for me 
So these are the information that we really require. So what are the information that we require is um, student number, student name, class and uh, marks in two subjects. That's what um, I have it here. And let me go ahead and let's click uh, OK on uh, the dialog box and uh, we have our student table created. Now let's come back to the main and uh, we need uh, to do a few things in the main. First of all, I need uh, to accept uh, input. So I need uh, a scanner object. So java.utility and you need to import that uh, utility java.utility.scanner. Let me call it as uh, input is equal to new scanner. And um, I'm going to say system data input. So I have um, the scanner object created. Then I need to connect to the um, database. So I need a connection. So let me say connection. So connection from java.sql. So press enter connection C O N equal to driver manager. So driver manager. Again, I'm using control space to. Uh, the, getting the help from the NetBeans and then I'm going to say get connection I will use the last option so get connection first thing I need to get the URL which I'll get later the username I know that it is ABC and the password is also ABC then I'm going to put a semicolon now I need the connection string to get the connection string, again go to the server explorer. Uh, if you don't get it, go to Windows and then click on uh, services and you get um, the server explorer. Now this is your uh, table just now you created. So right click on um, this connection and then say properties. So right click on this connection and then say properties. You get the properties and you have the database URL. Click on this one select this whole thing control C to copy close this close this and come back to the place and just paste it you have uh, the entire thing created for you now only thing is uh, you need to handle some exception so let's click on it and then say surround the block with the try catch statement so just to surround the block with the try catch and the rest will be done for you now during the examination uh, if you notice that this logger requires a import statement now I don't know whether you will be able to remember all those things now to reduce a few of your uh, problem during the writing of the program you if you notice uh, here uh, many are many things are common here and what is common here is java.sql this is common so what I'm going to do is uh, when you are writing then only do it otherwise NetBeans will take care of it you don't need to bother about it but uh, when you are writing it you just say SQL dot star that's all and put semicolon now to get rid of this uh, what you do is you just go down and make this one as uh, so there is one big line saying that logger dot get logger and so on and so forth forget that thing just say s out and uh, error that's all now because you removed that logger and log and, and all those things you just go here and get rid of these two lines this import statement is not really required but these two should be there whenever you are writing it so you import java.sql.star java.utility.scanner so this is required rest is not required because I have just uh, pulled this one out that is system. Uh, there was something logger information was there I just pulled it out so now we have a um, driver manager now you know very well that uh, I need to get uh, the student uh, name I need to get the course so I need some variable and I need a student number and I need marks in first subject marks in uh, second subject so all these things I really require also whenever I am uh, talking to the database I need something called as statement which is again from java.sql and I'll call it as st empty 
how do I get the statement is go to the connection which you have already created here go to the connection and then create a statement so this is required remaining whatever that is required I'm going to just um, put it there as and when it is uh, required so let me create a menu so in order to do that I need a choice here so I'm going to say choice and my default choice is uh, 4 so let me do that thing do while choice C H O I C E choice not equal to 4 I hope uh, that 4 is okay. okay so let's go ahead and let's do the remaining part I'm going to say yes out okay uh, main menu something anything you can give menu okay then uh, just uh, s out not c out s out and dash 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 so first thing s out first one add so what are the things that uh, you require here is uh, add student information add student information i'm going to just say add information add information that is student information next one so choice is to okay display information the last one is uh, yes out uh, three uh, is uh, delete information and uh, yes out for one exit program so that's required and uh, again s out and i'm going to just put a dash here up to here maybe i can also make uh, this dash slightly like this and maybe bring it uh, in the middle okay that's done and then uh, i need um, yes out I will not make print line okay enter your choice enter your choice and uh, I will accept the choice and I'm going to say choice is input which is my scanner class dot next int so I get that now I'm going to switch uh, based on the choice so case 1 I am supposed to do something okay. case 2 I am supposed to do something and uh, case 3 I am supposed to do something and then I have uh, case 4 which is the easiest one case that is case 4 which is the most interesting one and what is that I am supposed to do exiting the program so if it is you are coming in that and then maybe say break and uh, default so if any other thing is typed then I am going to say yes out wrong choice Okay, so that's all uh, you need to do. Now, let's go ahead and let's uh, do the needful thing. So we have our connection and we have the statement. And what is that we are supposed to do? If the choice is one, we are supposed to, as far as the question, uh, the user is um, supposed to input the values from the keyboard. So let's go ahead and let's um, get the uh, things. So if this is the first case, let me go ahead and let's do it. So first of all, yes out. I think I am in capitals. Okay, yes out. And uh, I'm going to say student number. Okay, I will not use print line here. 
so I will use print ln then I need the number s number is equal to scanner that is input dot next int okay then s out and uh, student name okay so now uh, the problem here is uh, don't I'm not going to go with the print line there I'm going to go with the print now because you are reading int the enter sign will still be there in the buffer so to clear the enter sign I'm going to just read the next line so this will just clear okay to clear enter sign from buffer okay so so that just to clear that thing enter sign will be there so just to do that thing get the name here s yes, name is okay input dot um, next line okay so you get that thing yes out and what is this uh, you have the course and um, the course is input dot uh, next line next line okay so you get the course there then yes out and uh, what I have marks one mark one okay marks in first subject or something like mark one now I'm going to just remove this uh, print ln from this uh, because I want them to come in the uh, straight uh, line there not on the next line that is why I'm removing it so you have the marks one and then uh, I need m1 is equal to input dot uh, next uh, int so there you got the thing yes out and uh, marks 2 so you get that one and then m2 is equal to input dot next line next int okay so we got uh, everything done so how do I insert uh, all these things uh, into the database for that let's go to the database and then let's try to insert something into the database so we have our um, uh, services let's go to the table here and right click on it and then say view data so when I click on view data I'm going to see nothing is there in the database so select start from the std master but i will go to this place which will insert the record into the uh, table so go to this uh, place over here and click on that and then uh, you will get a dialog box which will ask you to insert the value so let me insert a value these are sample value 101 uh, name course subject uh, the marks okay so you have the marks now don't uh, try to insert it now only what I require is um, uh, this statement over here that is going to show me the SQL command so go and select the show SQL command when you click on the show SQL command it's going to go and it's going to show you the command here I will bring it to the single line if possible if it is not possible just to copy this whole thing control C to copy it control C to copy it if it's not coming in the uh, one line just copy it control C it and then go back to our uh, statement over here and then we will have to paste it so let's go to the statement we were we are here now so statement is stmt remember I created a statement here if you forget this is the statement I created right at the top I created that statement so it is not magic I have created that statement and, and I'm going to say 
execute okay execute uh, query okay execute or sql statement this method cannot be called on a pre and so on so forth so execute uh, the query execute the query and i'm going to paste that uh, whole thing inside double code so i'm going to just paste it now you must see to it that uh, this whole thing is in a uh, single line so there are some minor issues so you need to uh, face uh, when you are using the netbeans and that is uh, you won't be able to get it in a uh, uh, single line so look at uh, the statement you are familiar with the insert into command and you are supposed to do that insert into command insert into the data table uh, field name and values so that's simple as that so this is what um, you are doing it and let's go ahead and let's um, insert all the values there so the first value is uh, 101 this i am supposed to i have brought it to look at the insert statement so insert into table field name values followed by the actual values so you are familiar with the sql statement and then correct them if it is not proper so let me go here and let me add the first one and that is uh, the student number so how do i do it i select it two double quotes okay two double quotes if you get it three it's okay two plus sign and then the first one is yes number so first one is yes number if you get uh, two double quotes so just keep the two double quotes if you get three double quotes it's okay i just make it as two double quotes now select the next one two double quotes go inside two plus sign yes name again two double quotes go inside plus sign quotes again same thing i'm going to go to the other side so select it two double quotes if you get uh, three double quotes it's okay ignore the additional double quotes two plus sign and uh, the marks uh, in first subject that is m1 now you notice that there are uh, three uh, double quotes are there all together so remove one of them if you uh, find that uh, the problem is coming in like this so just uh, add two and then remove the additional one so again two double quotes again if it's taking three just make it as uh, two and then m2 and remove one extra double quotes so that's all you need to do and uh, we are ready to go to the next part so we have executed the uh, statement if everything is going fine i'm going to yes out is going to say data saved so if you get it uh, that means uh, to say that uh, your data is saved so let me run it and just uh, demonstrate to you that the data is actually getting saved I'm going to right click and uh, I'm going to run this one. I will get an error message because of uh, the uh, database uh, error. So you have an uh, error here uh, for some reason. So what is that uh, some reason that uh, you are getting an error is uh, I think uh, we are not able to connect to the database because there is no driver. So let's go to the project and uh, in the project go to the libraries i uh, remember this is my project don't go to any other project and do it go to your project and go to the library right click and uh, add library and what is the library that i am supposed to add is the jdbc driver so add that uh, java db driver and then things are going to go fine let's run it and uh, i must be able to get uh, the first option so let's see the first option here so add the student information and student number 101 a name is uh, uh, shalini okay 
okay course is uh, bc marks is 55 other marks is uh, 66 i think i have uh, the print ln there press enter and uh, there is a error now there is uh, uh, error that uh, is coming here let's see what is the error now because i have uh, just uh, put that uh, error here i am not able to get what is the error so i am going to do here remember you don't do it uh, in the net means i did it just to tell you uh, when you are writing it on your sheet of paper you just uh, show that uh, error okay so let's uh, look at uh, the error and uh, i can just uh, show two string to just tell you what is the error so that i know that uh, the error occurs let me see my password is proper and the connection is also there so let me run it and uh, let's see whether the, the things are going fine okay and i think uh, i am supposed to execute a query there or execute just to execute okay i think uh, that's the error uh, this is not a execute query there so this is uh, statement dot execute execute uh, do i have that execute okay execute not uh, execute query execute query is when you have uh, the re uh, result set i think this statement there is one small change uh, you just note that it is execute that's why it is not running let me run it and let's see whether the things are working fine so i'm going to go here with the one and uh, student number 101 uh, say sharat and the course is b b a and marks is 55 66 and data is saved okay so that is uh, execute there i kindly make a note there i think i don't know why uh, because maybe it is 10 o'clock and i feel sleepy so this is uh, execute now let me go to the database and uh, just uh, run this query just to see that uh, whether i have the sharad record being saved yes the sharad record is saved let me go to the second part and what is the second part i am supposed to do in the second part i am supposed to so what is the thing i am doing i am supposed to display the student information so let me get the student information and then just to show it to the user so i am going to say yes out uh, by the way i will make uh, this uh, there is one print line extra this is not really required for your examination don't worry about that print line and other thing uh, you notice that uh, in the output if you just look at the output the last i think i changed the output anyway. uh, the last one uh, the marks two actually it was uh, coming in the second line so that it may look uh, bad uh, if you are really doing it not during the examination things don't look bad uh, you need to run the program so don't worry about uh, making it good or bad just uh, execute the program so let's get uh, uh, to the work so this is not uh, in capital so yes out and say enter student number okay so let me make it as print okay rather than print line and um, yes number is equal to what you use that uh, thing uh, yes number is uh, what is that input okay input dot next next uh, enter okay so you get uh, that thing so this is what uh, they have asked uh, okay display oh, where is that display student information uh, specific student information so you get the student number and now display it now when you run the query it's going to return a result set so i need a result set i will slightly go up where i declared all the variables and i am going to create a result set right at the top 
I go here and I'm going to create a result set RS. Okay. So one extra declaration result set RS because I want it uh, for the result. So now let me come back to this one. A result set is equal to statement which is already there dot execute execute query. Now this time statement dot execute query and I need to run the query. What is the uh, query? Query is what is the uh, query? How do I write the query? Let's go to the SQL statement here and what is the uh, uh, query? So I write a where okay yes number equal to 101 so that's the uh, query and if i run it if i don't get any error message if i am uh, able to get it this query is proper without the semicolon remember i have not selected the semicolon whenever i'm doing it i don't select the semicolon without the semicolon i copy this so and then come back to my program and I'm going to copy and paste that part over here okay and then you get this now this is not 101 what is that uh, thing I am supposed to do is uh, I have a yes number here not yes name yes number which is that um, I'm supposed to show so I'm going to do that thing now there are two things that may happen either the student record may exist or the student record may not exist so I'm going to say boolean I'll create a variable right at the top not uh, anywhere I can create it but Java allows me to do, do that thing but I just create a variable right at the top so I'm going to say boolean is found is found okay, by default it is false Okay, is found let's go and uh, let's start uh, with that so is found let's assume that uh, it is not found is found is uh, false okay let's go with the result set so before that I will just uh, show the value what are the things that I am supposed to show student number yes number slash t and uh, yes name slash t course or class whatever you say slash t marks one slash t marks uh, two okay that's all i need to show okay if you want to show it beautifully just use a yes out and then put uh, one big underline to make it uh, look beautiful let me go to the next part and what is that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the while loop so while result set that is uh, rs dot next you do it so go iterate over the loop and uh, then show the result so how do I show the result yes out the first one I am supposed to show is uh, yes number so rs dot you get to uh, uh, get the thing there so rs dot uh, get uh, first one int and the column index is uh, 0 okay. plus so first uh, column index second one is the name so I'm going to say plus rs dot get string so what is the column index is 1 then plus I think I will put a slash t here for the, the tab separation so yes name is there uh, yes number is there yes name uh, name is there course is there so let's do that thing course so slash t then the course and how do I do that rs dot get string and the next uh, index number 2 again uh, 
slash t so you have uh, three things that are coming here 0 1 2 3 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 yeah, I have to do that thing I think I can do copy paste it now you can type that thing so you can just paste it and uh, this is 3 plus paste it this is uh, 4 okay so let's look at uh, if I have not done mistake uh, it should be proper otherwise uh, <coughs> one extra is there <clears throat> one extra is there so let's look at that so I have uh, the 0 1 2 3 4 one more extra should be there so 1 3 4 okay I have everything that last T is not really required so you get um, the result being shown okay one after the other so I will uh, so this is the result and full length result so then I have this for loop just format it okay I have this for loop now if you are able to show the content then I am going to say is found is true so that means you have found the record now after the while loop I am going to say if not is found so if the record is not found then I am going to say yes out no records found okay, just to tell you that and then finally yes out and then just put uh, dash 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 so that uh, it uh, looks beautiful whenever you see the output so let's try it one more time uh, I'm going to just run this uh, particular program right click and run it I already have the data in my database so I have the Sharath's record so I'm going to just say display information 101 is the Sharath's uh, details and uh, you have uh, position 0 is out of I think you start uh, with the 1 2 3 4 uh, number okay number of uh, columns uh, in the result set is 5 so this is uh, column number not the index number so let me fix that problem and what is the problem you start with the 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 and 4 that's all I think uh, uh, four columns were there, five are there, four are there, okay, zero, one, two, three, four, okay, that's all we need to do, run it one more time, two is the choice and uh, one, zero, one is the result and uh, you must be able to get uh, the information about the Sharath, so you can zero, one, zero, one, Sharath, BBA, marks and so on that uh, you can do it okay so four for exiting the last one is to delete the data from the database so let's go ahead and let's do that part finally i'm going to go to the last part there and that is i'm supposed to delete it so how do i delete it so again yes out okay and uh, student number okay student number and uh, let me put a print rather than print line and let me get the student number sn is equal to uh, student number s number is equal to how do i do that input which is a scanner class next next int next int so you get um, that now you are supposed to delete it okay so let's go and let's try to uh, delete it again um, I'm going to say is found is false it is not found okay, if it is there I am going to show otherwise uh, I will not uh, delete it so let me first uh, get to just check whether the record is there or not so I'm going to say RS result set is okay. So I have the statement STM dot 
execute the query and what is the name of the query already I have created that query here if at all you want you can uh, use that uh, query here the same query I am going to use it here so you can use that uh, same query then that is uh, the same query just to figure out that uh, the uh, database uh, really contains something so I am going to say where equal to plus yes number okay so that's it now just to this is just to verify okay that the things are there mm. now I am going to say while rs dot next just to check that thing okay if you find that thing you are able to get uh, is found is true otherwise uh, a is found is false okay so let's go here if uh, is found if the record exists then you need to delete it otherwise you have to show an uh, error message to the user so a record not found okay now here you have to delete it what is the statement for deleting stmt dot uh, execute okay let's give the delete statement so what is the uh, delete statement the delete statement is identical to select statement so almost uh, everything is same Okay, so you are supposed to delete it so I am going to say execute it so delete delete okay. uh, delete from abc std master where s yes number is equal to that this is s yes number and I need one more thing here and the semicolon okay, delete I think uh, this is not really required okay, so small variation there, are, there will be some problem don't worry about that okay delete from std master where s number is equal to the s number so you are deleting it and if you are able to delete it you just give a message to the user so that they are not getting confused so record deleted you need to do that thing okay let's look at uh, that in action so whether we are able to delete um, some record so let's run it hopefully I have not done any other mistake so let me run it first I am going to insert uh, some uh, data into the database so I am going to say one add uh, student number is 102 and I am going to say Sarita is the name of the student ok BCOM she is studying in BCOM marks 177 marks 2 is 80 oops marks 1 is 77 marks 2 is 82 now you notice that uh, marks 2 also is coming in the same line because i removed print ln there so the data is saved now i know that i'm going just to just display the information of sarita 102 just to see that uh, sarita's record is there now I am going to delete uh, the Sarita's record. See, this is 102. And let's press enter. And uh, you notice that uh, record deleted. Now, if I search for, I will press 2 to display the information about Sarita. So press enter 2. And what is the choice? 102. That is my Sarita. You notice that I have deleted that Sarita. So whether it is deleted or not, press enter and what you find no records found so that means so sarita is deleted and the last thing that you are going to do is press 4 which is going to exit your program in any way a few things uh, you need to take care so once everything is over once you are coming out of uh, the sql statement not really required 
you can uh, uh, say uh, rs dot close not really required because it's going to close uh, in any way okay i didn't do that thing if at all you want you can delete but i, I don't think so you require all those complication just before the examination so just keep it here it will close it uh, automatically for you that's all uh, in this video all the best for your uh, lab exam thank you